big hello from London. Mark is away on a business trip, so I'll start the commentary directly. Surprisingly, there is a lot to go through today, as it's been a busy week last week for weekly patterns. I'll start with the currencies, and we had weekly key reversals up last week in US dollar against the Swiss franc, US dollar against the Japanese yen, US dollar against the South African rand, US dollar against the Malaysian ringgit, US dollar Korean won, uh, this one is an immediate countering weekly key reversal up, and Euro against the Swedish krona. All of these have had follow-on moves higher this week, or they have congregated around the highs of last week, possibly prior to an attempted move higher. We also had weekly key reversals down last week in the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar and US dollar Mexican peso. Likewise here, Kiwi dollar against the US dollar has seen a follow-on lower. And US dollar Mexican peso has congregated around the lows of last week and is a special situation which I detail in my daily foreign exchange video commentaries along with some of the other, other currency pairs. I'll now move on to fixed income and we had weekly key reversals down in US T-note futures, German Bund futures and the US bond T-bond futures last week. All three of these have had follow-on lower moves this week. Not aggressive, not heavy aggressive moves lower, but interesting ones that justified the label of a weekly key reversal down. I'd now like to discuss an unusual one. It is the ICE EUA carbon futures contract for December 2024. Here we had a weekly key reversal down last week that punched down and closed below the 50% Fibonacci line for the whole of 2024 at 64.62. It is not the first time the market has done this, but it has been the most vehement move lower down to prices not seen since early April this year. There are two bearish pitchforks, both Andrews pitchforks that are driving this market at this time. There is the late May to mid August pattern highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart and the more recent and more acute late August to early October pattern highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. There is plenty I can say about both these patterns, but for brevity I'll restrict it to two things. Firstly, these pitchforks show the bearish angle of attack of the market and will do so until they are truly broken. Secondly is a warning. The upper tine of the more recent bright red pitchfork, currently at 64.11, crosses over the middle tine of the longer term dark blue pitchfork on or about the 23rd of October. Such tine crossovers, even of unrelated pitchforks, usually indicates a period of volatility. So just be cautious around the 23rd of this month. I'd next like to look at energy. And we had weekly key reversals up last week in NYMEX crude oil futures, NYMEX Arbob futures, and in ICE Brent crude oil futures and ICE gas oil futures. All of these lived and died by what was, has happened this week already, with dramatic follow-on moves higher immediately on Monday. However, we have seen even greater dramatic moves back down on Tuesday, yesterday, such that we are back within last week's range, though towards the top end of it. All we have to show for these big moves is a pipe top pattern in all four contracts over the last two days at this time. I speak more about ice Brent crude oil futures in my daily crude oil and spot gold video commentary. On to some metals now and some rarer ones with weekly key reversals down last week in CME cobalt futures and CME lithium futures. These are not the most active contracts on the CME. The response this week has been either muted or reactionary. In CME Cobalt, we have just moved sideways, neither up nor down, whilst CME Lithium has had a small reactionary move back up, well within last week's range. Three more commodities. And we had a weekly key reversal up in Minneapolis wheat futures last week, and this has had a follow on higher this week. I discussed this more fully in my weekly grains commentary uh, video commentary published last Friday and this coming Friday as well. We also had a weekly key reversal up in Chicago lean hog futures last week. This has seen a small follow on higher this week. And finally, for all the TikTok meme generation out there, we had a weekly key reversal down last week in GameStop stock, which has seen a small follow on lower this week. Altogether, 
quite a lot to digest there. As always, I'm happy to answer any direct questions or anyone who's interested. And with that, I'll finish this section from London. I hope that you found these comments useful. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.